Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I'm going to be planning my March setup in my bullet journal. So this video is going to be filled with news for you. I have a huge announcement if you don't follow me already on any social media, you probably don't know this. And I am going to release my new March seasonal grab bag on my shop. And it's going to be the theme for this video, so stay tuned if you want to know everything that I have for you today. And let's get started with my plan with me for March. Before I show you my pages for March, I'm going to do a quick flip through of my pages for February. I was a bit disappointed with how the theme turned out to be honest, but I'm going to keep drawing all the flowers for my weekly spreads. And speaking of which, I'm doing this going on, ongoing, whatever you want to call it, layout for my weekly spreads where I just write the title of the day and the tasks that I have to do every single day so I don't have a pre-set up layout on my weekly spreads if that makes sense. That way I can save more time and space in my bullet journal. So now let's get started with my March theme and I'm going to start by gathering all the supplies that I'm going to use for this theme. And like I mentioned, my theme for March is going to be the same theme as my seasonal grab bag for March which is the Sunshine Burst Stationery Grab Bag. So this grab bag is filled with yellows and oranges and warm tones, but more into the sunshine color palette. So a lot of oranges and yellows, basically. I made this stationery grab bag for March because it screams spring. I love yellow. Yellow is actually like the color that I associate the most with happiness, even though my favorite color is blue. But yellow is that fun, happy color that I just see around spring and when I think about happiness, I think about the color yellow. So I thought it would be a great idea to introduce spring and Woman's Day with a bright yellow and orange grab bag. This stationery grab bag for March includes the following items and it's going to be available on my shop, the link is in the description down below, from today until the 15th of March. It's going to be limited edition until that date and it's available while I have some in stock. One of those went to my new crafter tier member on my Ko-Fi memberships that signed up earlier this month and she loved the grab bag and I'm really happy that she did because, you know, it's always great when you launch a product and your customers liked it. So I'm really happy with how this grab bag turned out and it's going to be the main theme for my March theme in my bullet journal. So make sure you grab grab bags in the description below on my shop. I have a lot of them available including washi tape grab bags if you didn't know that so make sure to check out my shop in the link in the description below for my March theme I grabbed a lot of stationery and supplies I'm not going to use all of them but I like to have them all in my desk so I can brainstorm what I'm going to do for this theme and this theme is going to be inspired by my grab bag but it's going to be a scrapbooking theme which I haven't done in a hot minute and everything that I'm going to use in this theme is going to be linked in the description down below with my coupon code so you can have a discount when you shop for these items at specific shops and the notebook that I'm using is from Tacti and you can use code CATSPLANNER for 10% off at Tacti. I switched from a traveler's notebook to an A5 one again and I just love the whole space that I have and I really missed using an A5 notebook um, in my bullet journal. But if you would like to know how I felt using my traveler's notebook as my bullet journal for the whole year of 2023, you can watch my bullet journal flip through video at the link in the description box. So for this theme, I decided to use a lot of scrapbooking papers and most of these things are from Stationery Paul. I recently did a haul with them and a giveaway, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. The link is in the description down below. But I got a lot of supplies from them and I'm using them a lot in my March setup. For example, these lip sticker and the doily and these stickers are all from Stationery Paul, but the girl sticker is from Paper World. It's their Gal Pal stickers, I believe, and I also have a coupon code with that shop, so if you would like to check them out, check the link in the description below. I really like these stickers, even though I don't use them a lot, because they are semi-opaque, and the girls are really pretty. They have different outfits and postures, so you can really play along with a lot of poses and shapes of bodies, so you can really play around with the girl stickers in your creations, which I really enjoy. And I just did this collage for my March theme 
and I wasn't really sure about the title so I just did some simple calligraphy on some white paper and I glued it down to my bullet journal and I feel like it was very simple but it tied everything together. This theme is not going to have a lot of black in it but the whole color scheme looks really pretty and really springy so that's what I was going for and I really enjoyed it. Once I was happy with the placement of everything, I started gluing things down and I'm also using my quote stickers that I printed out and that I'm actually selling on my shop. These quote stickers have been really popular on my channel and in my pen pal creations and in general in everything that I create with paper and so I have them available on my shop for you to purchase if you want to. They are available in physical and digital form and in black and white, so you can choose different quotes and in different colors. I made sure that the title was cuter than just the plain rectangle in white and I added some sparkles around the page in the end to tie everything together. Then I was ready to move on to my to-do list and goals page for March. So the first thing that I did was this little calendar for my to-do page. Um, I normally don't use calendars like this in my bullet journal, but I wanted to do one because March is going to be a busy and stressful month for a lot of personal reasons. So I wanted to have a little calendar here to mark important dates or highlight important weeks so I don't forget to do anything. So I did this little calendar for my to-do page. That mini calendar goes at the top of the page and next to it I'm going to have my to-do list for the month. Even though I don't fill the whole page in and I then have mini to-do lists for every week, I still like to have a to-do list for the month next to my cover page every single month because it really keeps me organized and I don't forget anything in this way. And I also really like having a goal section every month so I can keep track of any goals that I want to focus on in a specific month. For February, I just had the goal of working out three times a week and I have been pretty consistent with that. So I don't know what goals I'm going to have for March, but whatever I have to accomplish, it's going to be in this little section on the side. The washi tapes that I'm going to use mostly are from Stationery Paul, they're going to be linked in the description below. And for the boxes I use the Zebra Mild Liner in this warm yellow color. To complement the page and the rest of the theme for March, I'm adding a little section of papers and stickers at the bottom right hand side to just tie everything together and to do some collages on that part because I don't really need bigger boxes for my goals or to-do list, so I'm just having fun with this theme and do a little scrapbooking at the corner of the page. When I was happy with everything, I added some sparkles around the page and those are going to be my first pages for March. The next page is my habit tracker and depending on the month I focus on different habits but for this whole year I wanted to focus on three habits so far which are my marketing course because I need to study regularly and I even though it's not something that I have to do in a hurry I still want to study consistently and not uh, get this thing get out of hand and spend months and months studying because it's taking me a long time. I just want to make sure that I'm studying at least two or three times per week. So I'm constantly having that habit tracker in my bullet journal. So I'm going to have that tracker while I'm still studying for my marketing course. The other habit that I'm going to have that I've been having for these three months is content creation. I love creating content as you know and I feel like sometimes I forget to create content and I just re publish content that I already posted months ago and even though that is a really good tip for repurposing content, I sometimes want to create content and I have been trying to do that every single week on the weekends. I just take a few hours to film a bunch of videos and then I just edit them throughout the week and it makes me a lot more productive when it comes to posting online and I just don't stress out about what I'm going to post today. I don't really post very frequently. I probably post like once every other day. Sometimes I post two times per day, but it kind of depends. But I like to be consistent and to have different content always coming out on my platforms. So yeah, I like to make sure that I'm creating content 
pretty frequently. And the tracker that I have in my journal for this year is working out. So I normally try to work out four times a week, but if I can't do four times, I at least do three. I feel a huge difference when it comes to working out. On days that I feel like I should work out and I go to the gym, I feel amazing. On days that I skip the gym for whatever reason, I feel a little bit guilty. And so I have specific excuses to skip the gym, but I normally try to go three to four times a week because it really makes a difference in my energy and in how I work and in my productivity and my sleep. So for me, it's extremely important to just go to the gym frequently. And so I love to have this habit tracker here for that and to be consistent with the days that I go to the gym. I decided to do a little bit of scrapbooking, a lot of scrapbooking on this page uh, with a lot of washi tapes and ephemera and stickers, but I really like how the page turned out and I use this vintage paper in the back from Stationery Paul with the stickers. I think it looks really cool. It's a bit different from the other pages, but I really like how it turned out. My next page is going to be a brain dump page. I sometimes do these pages depending on the month that I'm going to have. And for March, I was feeling like I needed a brain dump page, but I didn't really know why I needed a brain dump, but I just wanted to have it in here. And instead of having a full on page, blank page without any sections for my brain dump, like I normally do, I decided to divide it into two in case I needed more than one section for a brain dump specifically. When I recorded my March setup, I didn't know what was going to look like in my brain dump page, so I didn't add any titles to the different sections. But as of I'm filming this recording uh, of the voiceover, I am currently engaged to my now fiance, which is really crazy to say. This happened before Valentine's Day and it was a total surprise, but my instincts were right because I did a brain dump page for my March setup and I didn't know that it was going to be for my wedding, you know? I thought that it was going to be for our next house, for some projects, but, you know, I had the feeling that I needed a brain dump, and now I'm actually going to use this brain dump page for my wedding. We haven't set a date yet. The proposal was really beautiful, really meaningful, and romantic on his part, and I'm just really excited still to be engaged to him. And I'm going to talk more about this whole event in my life in my real-time bullet journal setup for March uh, next week because in case you just want to hear me talking about my engagement and my future marriage um, on a bullet journal video while I set up my setup for March um, that's going to be the topic of my next video but we are really really happy I really like my ring and everything about it and now we are planning our marriage which is really crazy but yeah i'm going to use this brain dump page for that topic and yeah i'm really excited and i actually posted a photo of the engagement on my youtube community tab and a lot of you left a lot of wonderful comments and i didn't have a chance to reply to all of them but i saw them all and it's just so amazing to have this community and be able to share these events and milestones of my life with all of you I'm really happy that I'm engaged to my fiance now and I can't wait to share with you my next steps and the rest of my life for this year. I'm really, really excited. But yeah, this page is going to be to brainstorm about my wedding and the things that we have to take care and ideas, um, the topic of the wedding, like the theme, what are we going to include? Maybe the second section of my brain up is going to be for our honeymoon. I don't know yet, but I'm really excited for this new stage of my life. And I'm really grateful that I had this amazing man by my side that makes me super, super happy and that I'm going to plan everything and the rest of my life with him. So yeah, I'm really grateful for this, that this happened. And yeah, that's the end of my March setup. Sorry for the rambling at the end, but yeah. I'm just really excited, but I'm going to talk more about this in my next video if you are curious to know all the details. So yeah, this is my theme for March. Don't forget to check out all the products that I used in this setup 
in the description below as well as my March seasonal grab bag. Don't forget to leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!